What's going on guys? My name is Ebzy and today I am bringing you guys a rumble match I got the other day. I am playing on Thieves Den and I am using the last word as my primary and the my party crasher as my secondary. In this video I wanted to talk a little bit about the recent info explosion uh, we got on Rise of Iron through Game Informer's feature on it. And, but before we got into get into that, I wanted to talk a little bit about the last word. So, a little bit ago, like a couple weeks, maybe a week or so ago, I made a video talking about the last word and me trying to change my play style up. So I've been playing with the last word pretty frequently. I used last weekend, uh, last trials weekend on Asylum. I basically only use the last word. I didn't play too many matches last weekend. I was kind of busy, but for the most part, when I did play, I was using the last word. And I have to say, I am getting my skill a little bit back with it. I'm getting, that kind of sounded wrong. I'm getting some of my skill I used to have back in year one back. I'm not like, I'm not going to say like I'm great with it, but I'd say I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of decent now. Um, I'm not the best obviously but you know decent is I, th I think that's a good way to describe how uh how I'm, how I'm feeling about it this kid got kind of kind of juked right there anyway so like I've been using it a lot and I've been liking it a lot obviously I have not forsaken the Mita the Mita is my baby but the last word is definitely coming in handy uh, when you're playing like a comp or you're when you're watching like Inkooch or Lumi or some Luminosity or whoever like they're either using like the thorn or they're using like the last word and having used it for a while now having yeah using it more frequently now having not used it for a while just really reminded me that how good it really is but I still love the Mita I'll, I'll pick the Mita any day over the last word but anyway so enough of that uh, so I wanted to get into what I actually wanted to talk about, which is the info explosion. So Game Informer just did a feature on Rise of Iron, the update Rise of Iron. They did one for the Taken King in a similar fashion, but they did one for Rise. Of, they just like released the the Rise of Iron feature, and in it was a lot of info regarding Rise of Iron that we haven't like heard yet. Um, and one of the most interesting things that I read I haven't read like all the articles I need to go read them all but one of the most interesting things I read was about the artifacts and I know Datto made a video on it talking more in depth about the artifacts um, but basically the artifacts are like changing the game <clears throat> up in the, the rise the, the new update so currently artifacts do basically nothing they're pretty much just like increase your intellect and discipline but in Rise of Iron what they're going to do is they're gonna have more uh, important statistics involved not statistics but um, bonuses involved with them some of my favorites like you'll have I don't I don't have them all like memorized or in my head or whatever but some but if you go watch like Dado's video or read the article for that matter which I'll try to link in the description um, the one on the artifacts at least uh, they talk about an artifact that is eliminates there's one artifact that eliminates your sprint recharge delay and there's another one that eliminates your super but in return you get two grenades and then two melee charges plus it increases all your base stats or at least I think there I think it's base stats I don't know what else it would increase um, but to me, those two of the ones that I've seen and heard through whatever sources sounded the most legit of all of them. Like the sprint recharge delay, like you'll see me um, in this video, de I definitely do it, where I'll slide, and I, I know you guys probably do this too, where you'll go, you'll slide, and then you'll try to immediately go into a sprint. And what happens is sometimes there'll be a delay where you can't get into your sprint and you're like trying to. You know you're hitting the button, but it's not letting you go into the sprint. And I assume that's part of the recharge delay. 
So eliminating that would just make like life easier. It wouldn't necessarily be like game breaking or anything like that. It would just be everything like your motions and your movement would be like super fluid. At least that's how it sounds to me. Um, the one that eliminates your super, but you get two grenades and two melee charges plus the stat boost. That that seems pretty legit. Obviously, if you got like, if you're a good player, you're going to be getting your super often, but having the ability to have two grenades and two melee charges seems pretty pretty amazing if you're not like a like avid super user obviously everyone uses their super but if you take me for example when i play a rumble match and i'm using the night stalker like i don't necessarily the best i can do normally because i run black hole is i can get like basically a kill I can consistently get a kill, maybe two, if I get lucky and someone runs into my tether, or if it's a super good tether, where I've laid it down in like a hot spot or something. But for the most part, I'm just getting like a kill. And now, I'm not sure how this would work, but having the ability to have two melee charges and two grenades, plus on top of that, my exotic armor, uh, and like whatever the stat boost does, that just seems like it would be a real a real like I don't know sweaty combo especially for the Night Stalker obviously if you're playing trials or something you're gonna want to use the tether to to kind of cancel out the other team's supers but for something like free-for-all or like clash or something that seems like pretty friggin legit anyway so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about just the artifacts and them being kind of like they're changing the game I'm excited. You guys should go read the articles. I'll try and link the Datto video and the Game Informer article in the description. But yeah, let me know after you guys watch the video and read the articles what you guys think in the comments. These are two, the ones I mentioned, the Sprint and the Double Melee and Double Grenade. That, those are my two favorites that I've seen so far. So let me, down, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And yeah, that's about it. I 24 and 10, not too shabby, not my best game ever, but not that bad. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.